Alright, we're going to start this video off by repairing that section. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it with a piece of tape, which makes it easy to cut the piece of metal the right size that you need. Watch. What I'm going to do, take this piece of tape, like that. Take my piece of tape, line her up like that, and cut her out. See how this fits. However, we just can't go and weld that in because. This has to have a slight bend in it to kind of match the contour there. So before we start tacking her up into place, and I'll show you how I weld it without hopefully getting it to warp. The hardest part is because you're welding new metal to old metal. And I find when you do that, you start to burn holes. So there's kind of like that balance between having your welder set up right, that you want it to be able to stick but at the same time, you don't want to burn the holes. And you know, you may weld on the rotten metal or the older metal, but it may not stick well on the new metal. Yeah, it's kind of a science and you really need to have some patience, but I'm gonna show you a method that I use, so stay tuned. So now we need to get a slight bend in here because this little panel's got a bend. So what I'm gonna do, is since it's pretty much centered, is that uh, I'm gonna press down on it with my fingers. And since it's pretty thin, got like a little slight bend. This isn't the most ideal situation. I want the magnet to go on the back, that's okay. So right now is that I'm feeling right there. Make sure that's flush. I can't weld it up top because this piece actually has to go in a little ways. So I'm going to get the welder fired up. I'm going to put a couple tacks on each side. And then we're going to get this top piece bent in this place. And uh, we should be ready to rock and roll. That's all put in, it's kind of ugly right now. I gotta figure out my wire speed and all that shit to get it done properly, but I'm going to grind that smooth now. Hopefully after you spend the time to carefully weld it and then especially carefully sand it or grind it down because the cleaner you do it the less work you're gonna have so let's have a look at it now. So you can see right there in the end that turned out pretty good. A little bit of Bondo in there to smooth it out. The hardest part is right around here in the seam. Now if you're welding a body panel and where you welded it the body panels come in kind of like a small small V and you can't grind it flat. Most likely then the cause of that is too much heat suck the panel in. That's why everybody has their own way of doing body panels but works best for me is weld, blow with air till it's cool, weld, blow with air till it's cool. Minimizes the risk of the panel warping because the last thing you want to do once that panel warps, well then you're pretty much fucking hoop. But I think it's motherfucking beer time now. Today's beer, Red Racer IPA. Now if you're an IPA fan, 
This will put hair in your balls for sure. This is fucking strong. It's 6.5%. Ooh. Yeah, this is one beer you're not going to be pounding down no matter how thirsty you are. Uh, yeah. If you got a woman that'll drink this, she'd be a keeper for sure. Anyways, I'm going to end the video there. Got some work done on the car. Got the little patch piece put in. We're going to do the same on the opposite side. Once we've got those put on, we're going to put that tailgate piece in. And then we're going to start working on the inside corners in the trunk. And then we're going to move on to the floor. This is going to be a time-consuming process. Stuff takes a long time to do, but we're going to get it done. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy my beer. So I'm going to see you guys later.